this is the point where you put it all together to create your action research plan, um, which is going to include a well-defined topic of research, the purpose of your study, your fundamental research question, your fully detailed research design and the research methods, the measurement instruments that you're going to be using, and the type of data that you will be collecting. Also, your literature review. Um, and your plan is also going to include a timeline um, and your plans for addressing how you'll implement your research plan, collect and analyze the data, and develop the action plan and share and communicate your results. The other three components of your action research methodology. Um, the final step uh, for this course is to add your online uh, outline, rather, your literature review, your action research plan, all these things to your blog, your website, in a well-organized manner so you can share all your hard work with your colleagues. We want to remind you that your work on action research is not finished when you complete this course. As you've learned, action research involves the following four stages. Planning, acting, developing, and reflecting. In this course, you've been focusing on the planning stage, and your action research plan um, really just dealt with that component of uh, the plan. We expect that most of you will have moved through the acting, developing, and reflecting stages by the time you are doing your coursework on your capstone course in 5320. Uh, so you will be required to add um, your reflection and your final action research report to your capstone course. Now that you know how to use action research, we expect you will continue to use what you've learned in this course well beyond your program of study. And we'll continue to explore ways to measure the impact of enhancing learning with technology.